What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, One Man Startup. Today's episode, we're gonna build out a stateful widget in Flutter, and we're also gonna create a infinitely scrolling list view that has cells that are auto-generated as you scroll down. All right, let's get started. All right, so in the last video, we created a stateless widget, which is printing out a random two-pair word over here. Now let's do this generation as a stateful widget. So the first thing we want to do here is create a new class. And we're going to call this the random word state. And that's going to extend the state, which is a general state uh, class. And then we're going to create a new class, which is which is going to be the type of this state, which is just going to be a random, which is going to be a random words type. Um, all right. So we did not create this type yet. So let's go ahead and do that as a new class, and that's going to extend a stateful widget. So what we have here is a stateful widget called random words, and then this random words is going to use the random word state class to actually build out the state. Uh, to build, This is going to actually build out the widget and hold the state. So in random words though, we can just call this random word state to generate, to create our state for the widget, for this stateful widget, if that makes sense. Um, so here we want to do random words state and this is going to be creating the state which will be of type random which will be this actual random word state all right so now when we create this random word state we actually want to build out and create a widget here. So, so to do that, we can just do, we want actually to do the build. No, not that one. We want, we want a widget, build a widget here. Let's remove this. And the widget we want to build is actually the same one that we were building up here. So we can copy up our word pair and put that here. And we can copy the text here, which is what we actually want to return from this widget. All right, and then now that we have that set up, we can call the random words right here. And this is actually going to now be calling a random, be, be calling the stateful widget random words. So if you, uh, if you hit save again, everything should be working the same way that it was. And so just printing one instance of our random word, let's create a quick list and print just a infinitely scrolling list of random words. So to do that, we're going to, in our random word state here, we're going to go ahead and create a list, which is already a pre which is all, Flutter already has a list um, widget that we can use. And we're gonna give this the word pair. So this right here is creating a suggestions list, which is going to be, which is going to contain word pairs as an array. It's gonna contain an array of word pairs. Um, so now we can build out a new widget that's going to create these suggestions. So let's create a new widget here and we'll call it build suggestions. Um, if you notice these underscores here, that just means that this, um, this widget as well as this variable is only going to be accessible in this class. So there, it keeps them as private, private, um, private variables, and private, uh, private widgets, um, because we don't actually want to be using build suggestion outside of this widget. 
So that's why we're doing that. Same with the suggestion list. All right, so with our, within our widget, we want to return the actual list view. And we're gonna to need to call builder on that. Now, the item builder is going to be, is gonna actually take the, a build context. And that will call context. And we'll, it'll also take an int, which is gonna be the, the row that we're in. This actually needs to be in parentheses here. All right, so as we're building out our list view, we want to put a divider in between each item. So how we can do that is just to say if i is odd, we want to return a divider. So every time we go through building the list, if i is odd, we're going to return a divider. But when i is even, we actually want to return that word pair. So to do that, we're going to say if the if i is greater than greater than or equal to the suggestions which is this this list of word pairs up here if it's greater than or equal to that list uh, which will be the length of it then so if our if our i value is as long as this list then that means we want to actually generate a suggest add a suggestion to the screen so okay actually since we're doing this divider i is always going to be one more i is always going to be one is going to be twice as long as the list right because all the odd ones are going to be used for the divider so instead of using i here we want to use a new variable which we can just call uh, we can create here. We'll call that the index. And the index is going to be i divided by 2. So this is going to give us the index and by removing these dividers out. The, and we want it as a whole number, so that's why we're using this um, tilde here. So now we have our index, and we actually want to know if the index is greater than or equal to the suggested list. Right now, the list has nothing in it. So if if there's nothing in it, or if we got to the bottom, if we scroll to the bottom of the list, we wanna add more items to our suggestion list. So to do that, we can just do suggestions, the list. We can add all, which is gonna add an item. And then we can just generate, call, the, call a new function, generate, word pairs and this we can add it can take an amount so we'll generate 10 new word pairs and we're going to add those to the list uh, let's end that with a semicolon generate word pairs is a function of our imported package the english words package so that's why we can use that right there the final thing we want to do here is just return is just return actually just right outside the if statement here we want to return a new row so let's build out that function to build that row let's don't forget that semicolon there um, so let's create another widget and we're going to call this build row and this is going to take a word pair. And inside the function, we could call that pair. So this is this variable here, pair, is is just local to the function now. So we could use it, and we'll return a list title. So what this means is we're going to return a title for our list. So here we're creating the list view. And then inside the list view, we're going to call this build row. 
we're going to call that right here. And this is inside of the of the item builder. So every iteration is going to be called well, it's going to be called every iteration that's even, so not when it's a divider. And as long as we have suggestions, we're going to be calling this with a with our suggestion with our suggestions oh no plus there with our suggestions and we're going to be giving it the index here so calling it like this just means we're going to get that item in our suggestions list with that index so we're passing the word pair into build row right here and what we want to do with that is just print out that word as the title of the list of the list row so to do that we're returning a list title and we're just going to call title here and we're going to give it text. All right, and then we can just do the pair, which is our value, which is our uh, variable that we're passing in, and just do the as Pascal case. All right, great, so that looks good. Just add the semicolon there. Okay, now that we have this list generation set up, we actually want to call it in our original widget, which is building our random word state. So this, we can actually move up to the top because I think it'll make it a little bit easier to read. Um, that can go, we'll actually keep it below final, the word list. All right, so now what we want to do here is instead of returning this text, we're going to Actually, we can just remove all of this, we're, but we are going to return a scaffold now. And in here, we're going to give the the app bar. So this is, we're essentially going to return what we were returning up here. So give this a title. The app bar is actually going to be an app bar widget and this will give a title as text and we can call this the my new list all right and then after the title we're going to do the body and the body we're going to give it this build suggestions so this so the body of this will be this list view which this widget will build for us. All right, uh, don't forget that semicolon as well. And now we should be able to run this. Oh, it looks like we're missing a semicolon there. Now we should be able to run it. And we have a list of, we have a list of words that you can scroll through. Now, if you notice there's two titles here, which we don't really want or need, so what we what we can do up here instead of calling this whole scaffold here in our main app we can actually just del keep we can keep the title and from and the home part we can get rid of this whole scaffold here and now instead we can just call our random words because this is going to generate the scaffold for us there. All right, and now we have our list. Now we want to add an icon over here so we can have a like or dislike button on the icon. And that's actually, that icon there is going to be what's the mainly stateful piece of this, of this table here. That's what's going to be able to change. So it could either be on or off, uh, liked or disliked, essentially. So first thing we want to do is go to the random word state class right here, and we want to create a new um, a new variable, and this is going to be a set instead of a list, but we're going to call it uh, saved. So these will be this will hold all the saved elements here. Uh, let's make this a set of type word pair. And it's just going to be a set 
of word pairs. All right, now that we have that, we can go into where we're building our row, which is down here, and we can check that set for our pair. And if our pair is in that set, then, then that means it'll be already saved. If not, it'll be not saved. And those are gonna be the two states we're gonna be dealing with here. Uh, so to do this, we just go above the return and do, this will be either saved or not saved. And we'll call it already saved, and it's going to be that saved element there. Dot contains, and if it contains our pair here. So if it does contain our pair, that will be true, which means already saved will be true. After the title, we want to add a the icon itself. So we can use the trailing, the trailing piece here, and that's just going to put it over on the right hand side. So trailing. Uh, let's do an icon and we'll do here we're going to check if it's already saved and if it is we're going to do the icon icons dot favorite and if it's not already saved then we're going to do the icons dot favorite border. All right, and right down here we can just set the color, and we can say if it's already saved, then the color will be red. The color for the icon will be red. Uh, if it's if it hasn't been saved, then it'll there'll just be no color. Uh, this is actually it's S colors. All right, if we save that, we can see all of them right here. Now these aren't actually working yet because we don't have that functionality set up. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to do that with a button tap. So after trailing here, just go ahead and do all right on tap. And we are going to. And here we're going to actually set the state. So if it's already saved, then we want to set, <clears throat> then we want the state to be this saved. If it's already saved and you tap it, then that saved uh, collect that saved uh, set up here should remove the the object of the pair that we have, that we just clicked. So if it's already saved and you tap it, now that should be removed and should no longer be in that saved um, collect, in that saved uh, set. Uh, if it's not, which means it hasn't been saved already, then we can just make it saved. All right, so hot reload that, and we can see now if we tap these, they will change their state. And we can scroll and scroll back up, and the state stays the same. So we built our stateful widget. We got a nice list view with infinite scrolling, and we can change the states of the various rows in the list view. All right, yeah, a lot of uh, good stuff covered there. That's it for today. Ciao for now.